Hi everyone. So it is day one of the ration challenge. Um, I'm already drinking lots of water. Um, don't usually eat breakfast really, so trying to think of what to do for lunch and I think we'll have a go at making the flatbreads. First I'd like to say sorry that I haven't posted any content since my last video. Um, I know I said I would post a bit more before, but um, there is a reason why. There's someone special that I would like to introduce you all to, who you might be seeing a lot more on this channel. So this is Layla. What are you doing with your tongue, Layla? Huh? And there's Jake. Jake's a big brother now. Isn't he the best big brother? Yeah. So Layla was born two weeks ago today. And she's just getting bigger and bigger, aren't you? Layla! Where's your wee hands? Look at her wee fingers. <laughs> and her wee toes. She looks just like Jake when he was born. What do you want, son? You want cereals? Okay. Look what lovely cereals he gets to eat. And I get to eat. And marshmallows, and I get to eat. What do I get to eat today, Jake? No, I get to eat rice. Yay! We have, luckily, with the ration challenge, we're all given one of these recipe books, and inside it is a nice little flatbread recipe. Um, though I have made flatbreads before, but this will be a very, very simplified version, so all we have our ingredients are flour, oil, and water. Um, but we can add salt, which is great. Layla, where's Jake? So we're given oil, and we can go and buy our own flour of 400 grams. Yeah, that's right. And Jake has the chickpeas. <laughs> and the chickpeas. And rice and lentils. Now, before we make the flatbreads, actually, the first thing I want to do, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Layla was hungry, so I had to give her the hand there. Yeah. So before I make the flatbreads, actually, what I want to do is start to soak my lentils because I want to make a lentil soup. So this is really, really easy. All we do is we pour in our lentils and give them a wee rinse. Give them a little rinse. Mm. Milk in them. Mm. I'll fill them back up with water. Just enough to cover them. Put those to the side. Now I would repeat this um, every kind of six hours um, at least twice and that helps remove a lot of the gas that you get from the lentils so you're not as windy okay so let's make flatbreads now first thing we need is 150 grams of flour there we go and then we add about 80 mils of water we add two tablespoons of oil. So here's my flatbread dough um, all kneaded out and uh, I'm just going to roll it out with this rolling pin into sort of flat little discs. So I divided it into four pieces and I've just rolled it out as flat as I could. I'm just going to heat up a dry frying pan. So I've just dropped that onto a dry frying pan, I haven't put any oil or anything and once it starts to bubble up a bit I'm just going to flip it over. So I forgot like um, other flatbread I've made before, there's no yeast in these so we're very unlikely to get any kind of air pocket in it um, so I'm not sure what this is going to be like, it might just be like a bit of a dry pancakey bread <laughs> but we'll see, I'll let you know what it tastes like. First flatbreads of the week. Um, 
And one tip for you is, um, if you're making flatbreads, if you want to keep them fresh, is to keep them in a wee folded towel. So here's what some of them turned out like. Um, they're still quite hot, which is nice. Um, out of that, 150 grams of flour, I made four of these. So I'll probably eat two of these now and save a rest for later on and I think I'm going to make rice and beans. I forgot to say on first taste it's actually not bad and um, maybe because we've got salt and um, but you can definitely bread gets way more flavor with yeast so you kind of you really appreciate things like that and um, we could have made them like a sourdough but that would take way too way too long um, and my son's also eating my ration <laughs> Even though he gets lots of nice food here, um, but I don't mind sharing. Okay guys, so I've successfully made rice and beans. Um, looks okay. Um, though this used the tin of kidney beans that came with the ration pack. And I used about half of the bag of rice as well. Though this is quite a lot, this will probably do me for at least two days. Um, even maybe even three and um, if I push it out but I'll plate it up and let's have a taste so first taste and actually pretty good now because I'm part of a team my team's join her network and I'll put a link in the description below so you can go and check it out and um, we've raised over nearly two thousand pounds now so if you would like to donate we're we're, we are still taking donations during the challenge, so anything um, that you can give would be amazing. Now, because we're part of the team, we can add or we can share our spices. So my spice was paprika. Um, another team member had cinnamon, another had pepper, and another had chilli powder. So um, into this I added salt pepper and chilli powder and it actually tastes quite nice but I can see how this can get boring very quickly um, but it's only day one we'll see how it goes the kids are asleep though Layla's sort of moving around there and Hannah what are you going to have to eat lovely food are you going to have uh, well I'm having something similar no you're happy oh. she's, she's going to have paella which sounds delicious I'll just I'll just pretend that this is my paella. Let's see. Spanish. Bring it one pound chicken. Spanish paella. I'm gonna put us bacon chicken because we don't have any chicken and it's gonna be onion, um sweet corn, peas. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, it's that still... that just sounds mm. delicious. But yeah guys, um We'll probably end this video here. Um, I don't think I'm going to eat anything else other than maybe a bit more of rice and beans um, and keep drinking water. Uh, I do have one tea bag, so I might have a cup of tea. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again tomorrow.